Eamon Fitzmaurice is the freshest face in the crowded portrait of Kerry coaching success. Dick Fitzgerald, though, is still regarded as King of Kings a century after his football masterpiece was published. Well, Dick Fitzgerald is an icon. As a young boy growing up in Killarney, reading about Dick Fitzgerald and listening to stories about him, it appeared to me that he could do everything with a football. Fellas would tell you that he could kick points from the corner flag with his left and with his right. Fitzgerald would have been a member of the Dr. Crokes Club, and of course he captained them to win county championships. He won three in a row with Dr. Crokes in 1912 to 1915. In the meantime, he captained Kerry, won five All Ireland's with Kerry. He had a huge number of games for Kelly. Uh, only that O'Shea passed him out there a couple of years ago, and that's as the backdoor system came in. So it was an amazing career, really. So what better man to write a book how to play Gaelic football? I suppose what he was was he was very much forward thinking, a person who caught very deeply about Gaelic football, which at that particular time very few people did. I mean, we were talking about the early part of the, the century. Football was pretty much only in its infancy. He talked about the art and the skill. He decried the cynical fouling, what he called that unscientific play. It possibly needed somebody to put some kind of a formation on how to play the game. And it's funny that an awful lot of what was in that book is very relevant today, 100 years on. I just remember thinking at the time when I read it that a lot of the things he was talking about stood up to the modern game and you know it was basically boiling down to keeping the simple things right having your skill set good and being able to repeat again and again so the effect has been one of passing it on from generation to generation i think anybody who watches Kerry football can see a definite way that Kerry play football predominantly based on skill with all the other attributes uh, those Kerry values started 100 years ago with that i would take for sure he had a huge influence on dr Eamon o'sullivan who would be another iconic figure as a manager slash trainer in this county, won eight All-Irelands. Obviously, Dr. Eamon would have influenced Mick O'Dwyer, probably the most decorated and greatest manager of the modern era. And he would have obviously trained under Dr. Eamon, who would have originally picked up the influence from Dick Fisher. And uh, Mick O'Dwyer has influenced every other Kerry manager since. He was a national figure as well as being a local character. He was very interested in the Irish language and in Gaelic League as well. That's how he came into the volunteers and he became an officer and very prominently so actually in the New Collins in Frongoch camp where he had been a guest of the King of England for two rounds. They had great football competitions in Frongoch but he was released Christmas Eve in 1916. He wore, wore his heart on his sleeve. There's no doubt about that. He had a tragic death when he fell off of the courthouse in Killarney all that kind of lended to the legend of Dick Fitzgerald, and his was one of the biggest funerals that was ever seen in this county. My dad and my Uncle Paddy were both young men at the time. They were very bereaved, and they came to a meeting with the Crow Club ten weeks after the death to see what they could do, put up a memorial. They would come up with this beautiful dream of a stadium in 1930. A hundred years later, we're still talking about him and, you know, Fitzgerald Stadium is a very special place in Kerry football. It's a kind of a spiritual place. When we come into the pitch here in the summertime, it's a sign that the championship is on the way and that spiritual link is a kind of a special thing in Kerry football and with Kerry footballers. Kerry football would never be Kerry football without Dick Fitzgerald. It's a very big source of pride, the legacy that he has left. So where does he stand in the rank of the greats? He's one of the top.